I'm not a big fan of ring lights. There's much better gear you can buy for a more professional look. But if you already have a ring light, here's the top five ways that you can make better use of it. You're gonna wanna stick around for the number one spot cause I'll be using basic household items to pimp up your ring light so that your videos go from looking like this to this. My name is Anthony and I help content creators make better videos. In a previous video, I explained exactly why I don't like ring lights. You can check that out later. But for now, here are the top five ways to make better use of your ring light. Number five, you can have it in the shot. Not that shot. I think one of the main reasons ring lights are so popular is the fact that they look cool. Cause we've all seen them in music videos and TV commercials. They are literally called diva lights. So basically ring lights are the drag queens of lighting gear, just much brighter. I can say that cause I am a drag queen. Girl, we're not that smart. So having a ring light in the shot can be cool. Just make sure to avoid having them point directly into the lens as this can create a glare effect and wash out the entire image. Number four, as a background light, a great way of separating your subject from your background is by adding a halo behind your subject. A ring light is ideal for this because you can literally just tape it to the back of a chair. And if you have the kind that has multiple colors, you can play around until you get something that pops. And what what I mean by popping is basically color temperature. If your foreground is warm, having a cool halo on your background will make the warmth of your foreground pop, or you can make it warmer. I mean, just go crazy, experiment. Colors of the wind, you can try all the colors. Number three, as a contour light. A contour light, also known as a kick, is any light that hits your subject from behind. The reason you wanna do this, again, is to separate your subject from the background. It's really important to have this separation when you have a really busy background and when your subject is wearing clothes that are kind of the same color as the background. It's for situations where you don't really have a defined shape of your subject. Adding a contour light is one of those details that goes a long way in making your videos look professional. Number two, as a top light, ring lights usually do not weigh a lot. So hanging one up is quite doable with some planning. Having a light shining down from above sort of combines the benefits of having a background light and a contour light using just one source. The light falling behind your subject illuminates your background while the light falling on your subject creates an outline that helps separate them from the background. Just make sure you don't have the light falling on your face because you're gonna get raccoon eyes. So it needs to be a little bit behind. And finally, I'm gonna tell you the number one way you can use a ring light. But first, a message from our sponsors. We don't have any sponsors. Back to the video. Awesome. The number one way to use your ring light, in my opinion, is by turning it into a softbox. Now there are softboxes made especially for ring lights but I challenged myself to come up with a solution using items lying around the house. Here's what you'll need. A piece of cardboard or styrofoam, some shiny kitchen foil, paper glue, and white translucent not transparent trash bags, you know the kind you find in your dog's poop. First up, take your styrofoam and cut out a strip that is as long as your cardboard and about 10 centimeters wide. Next, place your ring light on the styrofoam and trace its outline so that you have a circle. And then you cut it out. Park that to the side for a second. Now, let's get sticky with it. Na 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 na. Slather one side of that strip with glue and slap on the foil. And just like Missy Elliott, you put your thing down, flip it and reverse it and do it to the other side. And then you also do it to the styrofoam circle. If it looks like a DIY space satellite, or one of those helmets that doomsday people are wearing, you are on the right track. It's probably looking like a four-year-old made this, so draw another circle in the styrofoam and then cut it out and stick it to the back of the foil to cover up the mess. I wish I had a styrofoam circle for my life. Now you get some double-sided tape, peel it off and pop it on the back of your ring light and press the styrofoam circle firmly on it. Make sure that the foil side is facing forwards and the styrofoam is in the back. Next, wrap the foiled strip around the ring, tape it into place, and now you can see that it looks like a reflector on the inside. Now here comes the magic. Get the trash bag and put it over the ring. And you see, it's a little bit softer. Then put one or two more until the ring disappears and you just have one flat circle. What's happening here is that the light from the ring light is being reflected by the metallic foil. This amplifies the total surface area of the light. So basically, we've filled up the hole.
of the ring. Right before shooting outward, the light has to pass through the translucent pieces of plastic and this further diffuses the light and makes it cast softer shadows. Now measure and cut out the trash bags so that they fit perfectly and then tape them with clear plastic tape. For a final touch, you get another strip of white styrofoam and cut it out and you wrap it around the entire edge of the ring light. This does not have any function, it just makes it look less like a four-year-old made it. And now let's see the results. So here's the ring light as it is and here's the ring light off to the side as a softbox. And here they are side by side. Let me know which one you think is better in the comments. Diffused is better, it's like hands down. But whatever, you know, it's subjective, you might like it, so then just use your ring light. Now that you have a bunch of different ways to use your ring light, you can go buy a softbox for your face and let the ring light do everything else that is behind. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you got value out of this and check out my other videos. So yeah, see you later, bye.